I have been saving this for just such an occasion. I'm guessing you heard. Well, it's the, the lead story on all the local news stations. And I wouldn't go online if I were you. There's a very spirited debate among the bloggers as to whether or not the lady DA who slept with her married boss deserves to keep her job. You do it. I'm too tempted to jam it through my veins. <laughs> So what's the consensus? Well, the consensus is that there is now a double standard. It seems that when a man has an affair, it's just a simple moral lapse in judgment. But when it's a woman, off with her head. So maybe I should have my suit jackets embroidered with a big red A. <laughs> the power of our sexuality still strikes fear into their tiny black hearts. Sweet. There's going to be a bad scandal, and I have a feeling it's just getting started. On the way to the Woman Litigator of the Year awards ceremony last year. You got kicked off a plane, or you held a bunch of bikers up at gunpoint. Hey, those boys turned out to be excellent company and proved to be remarkably good dancers once you got to know them. Which is, coincidentally, how I got to know you. And that brings me to my point. You, Alexis, are a rare breed. You are smart and tough and independent. And you're a hell of a litigator. In short, you are my equal. So believe me when I tell you that I know what it took to get where uh. you are. The struggle for recognition, the, the petty jealousies of lesser mortals. Not to mention the very real sacrifices that you've had to make. Which I promptly gave all up for one night of lousy sex with Garrett Floyd. What were you thinking? I wasn't, obviously. I just found out my husband sleeping with my daughter. I was having chemo. I was high on medical marijuana. My self-esteem was very low and he was nice to me. That's all it took. Comfort sex while stoned. Mm. Next time, make a mug of hot cocoa. I would have enjoyed that a lot more. Anyway, we agreed never to mention it again. Yet another campaign promise broke. Well, no, I don't think that it would have come up again if Brianna Hughes hadn't died. And when he blackmailed me, believe me, I could see how scared he was. I was wondering why you were working so hard to protect the bastard. Why didn't you come to me? Because I was too humiliated to even have you know that I was stupid enough to be blackmailed. I made one bad choice, just led to another one. So what now, girlfriend? It's out. Nothing to hide. We rebuild. Perfect. Because I know this really cute carpenter. He's got a little tool belt and everything. Here's to rebuilding. You don't happen to have any more. No. Than that. Okay. 